And President Trump at Walter Reed Medical Center uploaded a new video today saying he's feeling well. His medical team also sound optimistic. Some sources, however, say his condition is worse than has been reported and that the next 48 hours will be critical. Our Kim Bo-gyung tells us more. U.S. President Donald Trump, having tested positive for COVID-19, tweeted that he's feeling much better than when he was taken to Walter Reed Medical Center Friday night. He said that while he needs to see what happens over the next few days, he is starting to feel good. I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back. I'll be back. I think I'll be back soon. He went on to say that there is still work to be done to make America great, and he'll be back to finish his campaign. He thanked the American people and world leaders for their messages of support. Earlier in a press briefing, Trump's medical team said they are cautiously optimistic about Trump's condition. The president was said to have had mild cough, nasal congestion and fatigue on Thursday, all of which the White House physicians said had been resolved and improved. It's important to note the president's been fever-free for over 24 hours. Uh, we remain cautiously optimistic, um, but he's doing great. While the medical team and Trump himself painted a rosy picture, there are contradictory reports, too. A source identified as White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has been quoted as saying that Trump's vitals have been concerning in the last 24 hours and that the next 48 hours will be critical in terms of his care. Adding to that, the New York Times has two other sources saying his symptoms were severe, that Trump had trouble breathing on Friday, prompting his doctors to give him supplemental oxygen while at the White House. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.